Hey everybody, welcome back. David Dion and the illustrious Miss Lady Pop Hunter here with another comics pickup. <laughs> and boy, did we have a lot in the last, like, David got a ton. The last month here. And who went first last time? I don't know. I'll go first because I have first? less. Okay, you have less. I actually have more, but I put my books away. She did put some away, and now she don't know where they are. <laughs> well, I know where they are. <laughs> I just don't know which one I got. And I didn't want to look it up, so I pulled out some that I think... <laughs> and especially good. got carried away because we just came from Toylanta as well. Yeah. And that added a lot to it. Yeah. So first, um, one of the very, very, very few Spider-Man books that I'm going to ever get. This one is Spider. Uh, well, it's Marvel Team, Marvel Team Up Team number twenty four, featuring Spider Man and Brother Voodoo. And if you've been watching a while, you know that I got the Brother Voodoo's, and I looked it up to see all of the issues that he's in. So um, he's mm -hmm. in he's in quite a few crossover stuff. Yeah, crossover stuff. He's in Marvel Team Up, the Marvel Two and One. Oh yeah. He's in um, actually Werewolf by Night. I just remembered, and I did get some of those. Um, I don't have them out. I just remembered that. But I have all of the ones that he's in Werewolf by Night. <clears throat> and I think it's one more that I need. And then my brother Voodoo Run will be over. And I like, um, I don't know if, he, if he's a superhero or not, but I like people that, you know, are obscure. They don't get a lot of attention. And that's that's what I like. Of course, I like my um. No, these are cool. Yeah, the Frankenstein monster or the monster, monster, monster of, Frank of Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Yeah. It started off as Mount, mountain monster of Frankenstein, and then it turned into Frankenstein's monster. So. Yeah, it's an obscure obscure Marvel series that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. So, I got these from um, toy. Lanta. Yeah. And the guy had a good run and I got the bulk of it and I left the rest out because it was near the end of the day and <laughs> funding was starting to get a little scarce. Yeah, well, that happens. Yeah. <clears throat> I forget how many are in the series. It's not that many. I got you it know. written down. I don't remember. I think it's 18 actually. Okay. It's, it's, it's 18. And this one is cool. I want it on yeah. bids on um ebay <laughs> it's actually six books in the series yeah um this is number one and i'm gonna try and get the rest just Adventures to complete it of, Kool of the kool-aid man. man so i like things like that that you rarely see you know i'm trying to fill out my little batman collection so i try to get as many batmans as i can that's yeah. in a reasonable price um, I know I won't get all. And I'm cool with that. You know, I accept that. Now, that this is nuts right here. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. And this book, and I told it when I um yeah, got it from Toilanta. Toy Toy the guy that had this book, I actually saw it. It was either two or three shows back. Yeah. He was at a show. It was at the end of the day. And I was just flipping through his box, you know, kind of waiting because David was looking at something. And I saw this book. And I didn't have any more money left. And I was like, God, Lee, I really want that. And, you know, I was like, whatever. And I couldn't remember the number. I tried to look it up on eBay. I looked, looked, looked. And we have the guide. And I looked through the guide to see what number it was and everything. And then when we went to Toy Atlanta, he was there. And I told him he had a book about three shows back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't able to get it. And I wanted to see if he still got it. And I looked and it was still there. And it was this one. Batman number 78, 78 right? I think that's yeah. it. 78 or 78. And it's a big deal. And David t looked it up, of course. I don't look up nothing. I don't yeah. even open the books. He looked it up, and it's the key. I did not know that um, because I saw the cover. <laughs> yeah. And I like the cover, honestly. Um, but the key is, it's the first appearance of um, Martian Manhunter. So. Yeah. So it's a key. Every, nobody noticed. No. Yeah, this, this book flew under the radar. Yeah. And I mean, you know, it's beat up. But you know, it's okay. Because you ain't going to always get 
a nine eight or high grade and all of that stuff right yeah. there. I don't especially, have the funding for that. Especially golden age. You're, yeah. That's so rare to yeah. find anything that high. And this is my oldest right now. My oldest super spider. Oh, Who Lord. is it? My oldest Batman <laughs> book. <laughs> Hopefully I can get something that's older. I uh -huh. really doubt it. But I'm happy with that's it. That's pre-code, though. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Cool. It, it yeah. is. It's pre-code. I think it's 53. 1953. Mm. Yeah, it might be. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But I, I realized that when you get to pre-code in Batman, psh, the prices go ridiculous. So I'm yeah. happy if this is the oldest one I'll ever get. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't mind a raggy book. Now, I won't get one that has half of the cover to it. Sure. Off. I mean, I understand why they did that. I don't want that one. But if I can just and get some spine ticks. It's not good. that bad because the, yeah. the, the, the cover and the centerfold are still attached. They're still attached. Yeah. It does have a lot of color breaking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. But it can be wiped down. It can be pressed. It can be made to present even better. Yeah. He had it in a rough bag. I brought it home and put it in a Took nice... Took care of it, yeah. Yeah, pretty little mylar bag and a, and a nice board. And it looked better already. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> with a little pressing and a little wiping down, mm -hmm. I can get it to present better. Who's so. going to press and clean it for you? Mm -hmm, you know. Oh, I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, now I got this uh -huh. on um, the the next couple of books you're gonna see. I got mm -hmm. it on eBay. This one seller had, and he was selling his books one by one. Nobody was bidding on his books. He had it for like ninety nine cents. I'm the only one that bid, and I won them all. And uh, <laughs> and he combined the shipping sure. and everything, so I really didn't pay that much. And I, um, I'm all about the EC horrors. I'm fine with the reprints. These are all reprints. Everything you're yeah. going to see is reprints. And I'm cool with that. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with the reprints. Original ones, especially covers like that, that were yeah. part of the Sodi. Yeah. It, it, be Seduction of the Innocent. They'll be ridiculously expensive. Yeah, because this one, I think it fetches like two, 3000 with the severed head and all of that. Yeah, I'm and, and she's talking book. like low grade. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, to have a reprint, all it did was um, reprint the cover. It's the same story. I'm fine with sure. that. I am totally cool with that. Haunt of Fear. Another, and all of these came from the same seller. He had these books again. And they were, um, he had them all for like 99 cents. And nobody was bidding. So, I took advantage of that. Because I really wanted this set. And sometimes you can find it, but people want are starting to want some money for them. You know, over $10. Yeah. Shoot. It's like, I don't want to pay over $10 for nothing. So, <laughs> <laughs> so and the mm. stories, I've read a couple of stories already. And the stories are actually pretty good. Yeah. So, I can't wait to read the rest of these stories. And this is a what, Vault of Horror. That's a cool one. Yeah. And the next one I really like. That one's a fortune, the original one. Yeah. yeah. This one, because as you know, not only do I like the EC horrors, I like the suicide covers. So you get the you get both of them. You get an EC horror book and it's a suicide. I haven't read the story yet, but I can't wait to read the story to see what this is all about. And the last one is uh, Tales from the Crypt. Uh-huh. Yeah. And again, uh, no, I actually got th these two right here. I actually got on uh, Macari. Somebody mm -hmm. had it um, cheap. And then, of course, I had to ask for a discount. So, you know, because Macari allow you to ask for discount. Yeah. So why not take advantage? See what people are going to say. Sure. And that's it for me. That's, that's, a, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. See? It, what if I didn't put some away? Oh, yeah? What if We'd you didn't? We'd still be here about 30 minutes later. Well, oh, well. Yeah. Okay. That was <laughs> David's turn. Yeah, it's David's turn. Some Marvel Godzilla, which I found at the Toy Lanta. And 
these in particular, because you, you find them from time to time, but they're in like crappy condition. These are in fantastic condition. There isn't a tick on these. Mm -hmm. There's very little that would have to be done to press and clean these. You know, I don't even think they need to be cleaned. A couple of them could stand a little bit of a pressing, but aside from that, there's really nothing that needs to be done. They, they are really clean examples. And anytime you find like bronze or early copper that's that clean, it's worth taking a look at it. And these came from Toylanta, the Godzillas. And then I like how he's fighting Devil Dinosaur there. Mm -hmm. and it's like Devil Dinosaur is like his same size, same equivalent size, and that just doesn't make sense. It makes comic book sense. Why, um, Godzilla would be bigger? He'd be way bigger than... Oh. De Devil Dinosaur is just a Trinosaurus. Oh, okay. And, yeah, Black Goliath, number one. <laughs> and this is in really good condition. He had the whole run, but the other books were pretty rough. Oh, okay. But this one was really clean, which is a surprise. There's only five books in the in the title. Oh, okay. There's only That's not five bad. issues. Yeah, there's only five issues. Are you going to get those um, graded? I I don't know. Maybe. And I have a big Hulk run. I like this crazy big Hulk run here that I got all as a lot. <laughs> And that's 102, which is a key, obviously, because this is the transition issue where, uh, what was it, Tales of Suspense with um, Hulk and Submariner becomes Hulk, issue 102. And there's a, there's a handful of keys in here. And most of these are mostly, again, in really nice shape. I think the condition, at a glance ranges from six to nine some of these are in really good condition and all of them could stand uh cleaning and pressing so there's a lot of potential in this lot just really nice overall but yeah it's a big run of uh of hulk books and Silver and Bronze Age Hulk is in is in demand as well. A lot of people looking for that. It's always been a popular character. It's always been interesting stories. And I like the Hulk. The Lost Land of Kazar. <laughs> if it's so lost, how come everybody keeps ending up in there? Yeah. Every time you turn around, especially the X-Men. I really like the cover on this one. Really nice use of coloring in that. There's Hulk falling through space. The Brute. Where falls the Shifting Sands. A lot of nice titles here or issues from this time period. Mm -hmm. And these are all bronze age? Uh, silver and bronze. Okay. It starts silver and it transitions to bronze here. Mm. This one says, Kill him. Kill the Hulk. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a uh, Hulk and Thing battle. And those are always popular with collectors. The Hulk versus the Yeah, thing. they like those. Mm. Well, the Thing mostly gets his ass whooped. Mm. But <laughs> they like that. Hulk and Thing. Uh, any of the big hitters like Hulk and Rhino, Hulk and Juggernaut... But mostly the thing, because the thing's not a villain. But the Hulk is not a villain. No, but you know, the conflict of interest uh -huh. or misunderstandings, stuff like that. Mm hmm. But again, all really, really clean. A lot of potential there. 
Hulk fights with Abomination a lot too. Speak of the devil. There's the Abomination. <laughs> The Sandman again. Hulk versus basically everybody. Uh, <laughs> A lot going on there. So, I mean, what are the stories about? It seems like all he's doing is fighting other, um, you know, other main characters. Is it like any stories? That yeah, there's a story, and, but primarily they it? just won't leave him alone. That's all he ever really wants. If you leave the Hulk alone, he'll leave you alone. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to bother with anybody. He just mm -hmm. wants to be alone. But um, because every time anybody uh, comes around, they mess with him. Oh, what are they messing with him for? for uh, they either want to destroy him for revenge or they want to capture him, the army. No, know, I'm talking like about why is he fighting like the thing and, and all of that right there. Well, you said it well, was a conflict of yeah, interest it, it, it's in Yeah, something else is going on and there's a misunderstanding or okay. something like that. But, you know, they get into it. This is the first appearance of Valkyrie, I believe. But they get into it with him and, again, he, he's he's like a wild animal. You can't mess with him and get away with it. No. He's not going to let it go. Doctor Doom. But mostly, you could just leave Hulk alone and he won't bother you. First, Wendigo. Wendigo! I like how they shaded out his junk. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> like, no, there's nothing to see here, folks. Yeah, sure it ain't. <laughs> Classic uh, versus the Abomination cover. Mm -hmm. There, that's nice. Between the Abomination and the Rhino here. And again, these are all a lot. These are all part of a lot. Mm -hmm. And there's a few keys missing here, but... You know, there are still keys in this, and they're good ones. So the Juggernaut is a bad guy? Yes. Oh. Juggernaut is a villain, although they're working together there. We got some slabs. Uh -oh. A handful of slabs. This is one you never thought of, and this is iBots from 1995. And Unleashed. Yeah. And this is George Perez and Isaac Asimov. Isaac Asimov's story interpreted for the comic, but uh, George Perez art. Hmm. And this is one of those independent comics that just kind of slid under the radar yeah. back in the day, you know, because this isn't something average person would be looking for, but this, this turned up. It's got a scuff on the case. It turned up, and it was a really good deal. I mean, you know, I don't talk about prices too much, but when you get a 9-8 slab of something obscure like that, and what they want for it isn't even what it would cost to slab it. Yeah, you kind of need to Yeah, I'm like, it. you know what? Sure, I'll take a look at it. <laughs> now, Secret Wars number 8 in a 9-8. And this is the third one I've gotten my hands on. And funny enough, every time I find a Secret Wars 8, it's a newsstand. Well, that's good, because I'm yeah. newsstands. In this era, newsstands are, are more desirable. And so I'm like, I, I, I keep lucking out. and there, It's always a grade higher, and it's a newsstand. <laughs> so, hey, fantastic. And I don't understand that, because it's like what I always say. It's the yeah. same book. Yeah, it's it is. It's just that one have a barcode and one don't. And one doesn't. And then they're going to pay more because it has a barcode. And it's like... Yeah, that basically. Makes absolutely no Because otherwise, sense. it just has a little Spider-Man face right there, and yeah. that's that's really the only difference. That that doesn't make any sense to me. No. This is a weird one. This is Cadillacs and Dinosaurs number two. In a nine six, and it's tough to find these in decent condition. Is low print runs. So this is actually a CCG graded comic, a defunct. Uh, grading service. Mm. So it was sold really cheap, much cheaper than if this was a CGC. So you got to crack it open and resend it? I don't know. Because, um, I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I, yeah. li I like it. And it's um, it, it's every bit of a 9.6. It, it's not improperly graded, I don't believe. Because you see people do that. They get a slab and, it's a, and it says it's a high grade and, mm -hmm. oh, I want the newer label. 
Yeah. So then they crack it open, send it back, and then they get it back, and the grade is lower. And that has happened. You gotta, yeah. you gotta be careful with that. Now this one I did a short on when it came in because mm -hmm. something weird happened with it. Oh, okay. And this is the Crow Number Four from Caliber Press. And any, even I know these were all reprinted like four times. I know it's hard right there because it's all so black. Uh, 1989 Caliber Press, The Crow, very very popular comic series, um, good movie, terrible sequels, tragic film because of the death of uh, Brandon Lee. But didn't he die in the first one? Yes. Oh, and they still and did. They sequels? made sequels, and the sequels are crap. Mm. But um, this one was damaged by the bubble wrap, and it's a, a nine two. Tough to get any kind of a decent grade, but you can actually see you see all those spots. Yeah. It shows up really good on the back. That's from the bubble wrap, mm -hmm. and it will not clean off. And so I'm like, I was looking at it, and I'm like, there are some pressable defects in here. So, I mean, I could crack it and clean it up and send it back in. The case is weirdly messed up. It looks worse on the back than it does on the front. It's kind of hard to see it on the front, but it it, it is it is there. Mm. But really, really good price. And it wasn't like this when I sent it in. Or rather, it wasn't like this when it was sold. Mm -hmm. It just arrived this way because of the bubble wrap. But then again, you know what? That's why they put these Mylar bags over these cases. Mm -hmm. Because that um, acrylic does easily scuff up. But that's not scuffing. That's like imprint. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, it's probably the bubble wrap rubbing on it, and it, means wow. good that it, it just ground down that acrylic that much. That's how sensitive that stuff is. That's why and someone asked about cleaning in here yeah. uh, recently. Uh, uh, Von Doom, mm -hmm. I believe, we use makeup brushes because any of those, like, mylar windows uh, or um, acrylic bubbles mm -hmm. that they have on these packagings will scuff from being rubbed. Yeah, even with a um, a towel or or a cloth, I scratch it up. Yeah, you got to be really careful. And we put we could put uh, something up about that again. Now this is a um, Tales to Astonish, number ninety, first uh, Silver Age appearance of Byra, but also the first appearance of the Abomination. Oh. And this is a book that looks like it has pressable defects, as they say. It's got marks on it that could be cleaned up. It's got um, dirt on the back that could be cleaned up. It might could do better than a four, mm. basically is what I'm saying. But again, picked it up really cheap. Um, there was a, a boost in spec because <laughs> of the abomination was going to appear in She-Hulk and... You know, she Hulk was a flop, and then the Abomination's appearance, and it was stupid. Oh, he was in it? He did show up in it oh. as the man, not the Abomination, I believe. Oh. We didn't watch it, but I saw a clip, mm -hmm. basically, and it's just dude not in Abomination form in a mm -hmm. jail cell or something. Mm. And so, Spec tanked, and when it tanked, I snapped it up. Because <laughs> that's what you do. Don't mm -hmm. buy things on Spec. Don't do that. If you if it's a book you would like, yeah. which you know classic Hulk villain, sure I want one, but not on spec. Mm. You wait till that cools off. Strike when the iron is cold, yeah. <laughs> basically. And then this one mm -hmm. was a great deal. If I can open the bag, trying to reduce glare, guys, as we've been going on forever. This is the last one, and this is Batman seventy nine. Batman 79 and a 5.5, five, right? Yeah, 5.5. Five. And it doesn't look like it's ever been worked on. And this is an old CPCS case. This is the one that, like, I could peel this open with my fingers right now and split it. Um, there are defects that could be pressed. It's not a key, but Golden Age Batman. And oddly enough, mm -hmm. the issue that follows yours. Yours was number 78. Oh, okay. This is issue number 79. Oh, that's cool. So it's the one right behind yours. Cracker Jack prize yeah. on the back. Uh, again, it's a little soiled. This could be cleaned up a little bit. And it got a little wrinkling, like yeah. right in here somewhere. Yeah. But Some that's wrinkling. a really nice looking book. Uh, 
Vicky Vale looking like a pain in the butt. Yeah. Whining at Batman because he's his. I guess his page is going off. He's like, oh, the bat signal, gotta go, baby. And uh, I bet you she's not as annoying as Lois Lane. No, probably not. But nobody's as annoying as Lois Lane. No. Cracker Jack toy. That's amazing. Only twenty five cents in coins and two Cracker Jack box labels. Oh, okay. I guess you mail away for this from Cracker Jack. Hmm. But yeah, this is uh that's cool. And I think it's an interesting coincidence that you you found seventy eight. And we got it from the same guy. We did get it from the same guy, actually. Yeah. And he didn't grade this stuff because he don't like slabs. Because mm -hmm. I talked to him a little bit and he was like, you know, I don't know if anybody realized that, but interesting. Yeah. Anyways, that was our pickups. That yeah. was our pickups this month, which was a lot. And, you know, it keeps saying we're not going to get as many comics this month. And then we ended up with a buttload of them. But... Hey, what are you going to do? I mean, you can get some great deals on eBay you if you go to the auction. Yeah. You buy lots or you find somebody like, I've got... Or again, the Hulks. This yeah, was all one, one bulk lot. lot and yeah. it was not... The guy didn't want much and he was looking for a collector to sell to. Yeah. He didn't want to sell out to a dealer. And I was like, I'm not going to sell him. I, I, I want this to, uh, to work on my Hulk run. <laughs> and I got a, a really sweet deal because of that. And I appreciate it. Yeah. But yeah, you get, you know, lots are better. Yeah. Uh, bundling works better. You know, mm -hmm. find the deals where you can. And it, it's, you know, now is the time as they've been saying. Yeah. Cause, um, things are going down. Yeah. People need money. Comics is not moving that much. So now is the time if you got a couple of pennies left over to try and buy something. Yeah. And people speculate they're like, well, it could go down further. It could, it could, but this could be the bottom. Yeah. So you don't know how deep that goes. So if you have an opportunity without having a FOMO aspect of it, yeah. like, Oh my God, if I, if I don't get this now, no, if, if you see, if you know, it's a good deal and it's something you actually want, yeah. you know, think about it. And that's the yeah. key. If you actually want it, don't just buy something because you saw three videos that say top five, um, books to buy now and all three of them name two books you know two of the same yeah. books. Like, oh three people said i should get this book yeah it's a hot book buy it now yeah. that's why we that's why we did the anti-spec video uh, a couple weeks back yeah but anyways what did you think guys do you like our haul let us know what were your thoughts in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We hope you did. Share mm -hmm. it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. All of that good stuff. And if that's it, then what more can we say? But thanks for watching. And we will see you again soon.